Hey, hey, ladies, it is Peter and Sally Ann. G'day, Sal, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm outside and I just keep shivering. <laughs> <laughs> That's good for you, a little bit of cold therapy. Yes, a little bit of cold therapy. Ladies, we are really, really excited. What's excited be the word <laughs> to talk about today's topic? <laughs> it, it is, drum roll, please. It is, um, I've got a few things happening over the weekend, so how am I going to navigate that? So what we're talking about here is that you've had a great week, you know, you've eaten healthy, you've slept well, you've kept your stress under control, you've done your workouts, and then you've gone, okay, I've got these parties happening over the weekend, so how am I going to navigate that? And this was a, a question, a big topic that we had in the connection zone on the last last Saturday. And so I thought it was a great one to, to talk about today. Um, and the first thing that I want to start with, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit. So we've had quite a number of newbies start with us. And one of the things that happens is we give them this healthy eating kickstart which is um, a heap of recipes and it's got a meal plan with it and it's got a grocery list. So it just makes it easy for them to follow through. And, you know, I'm pleased to say, you know, a lot of them got some great results. And, but they're focused on that number on the scale. So it was like, I've lost this much weight. And I said, yeah, but I, I really want to know how you're feeling, like what are other things are going on with you? And so I heard things like, I'm dead, I've been sleeping better, I've got less bloating in my tummy, um, I, I'm feeling like I've got more energy. So, and, and I'm really feeling motivated to keep going with it. And, and isn't that what happens is when you see a result, you want to keep going? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And and I said to them, here's the thing, though. So I could be a 60-year-old woman who's 60 kilos and I could have been 60 kilos at 20, but that 60 kilos feels very different in my clothes. Mm. Um, and that's because what we want to really be focusing on is that body composition. So, you know, how much muscle do we have? because that's the important factor that's metabolically active and what it means is that we're going to be stronger for life so it's not just about that number on the scale this led me into then saying this okay most of you probably know a vegan or a vegetarian and so when they go out on the weekend and then they see a steak are they going to eat a steak and they've gone, no, they're not going to eat a steak. And I said, right, because that's how they identify themselves. So, and I said, so what we're really doing here is we're backing up from that I'm eating healthy, which is what you've just done, to how do you really see yourself? Are you a healthy, fit person? Or are you seeing yourself as somebody different to that? All right, Sel, jump in there. Tell us your thoughts so far. I read a quote yesterday and I thought, what a great quote. And it perfectly fit into this. Mm. And it was, if you want a healthy life, you have to live intentionally. A lot of people just accept life. So you can't live intentionally Monday to Friday or mm. Monday to Friday afternoon yeah. and then Friday to Sunday night. It's You're just accepting that like it's the weekend and I can just do whatever I want and will not do whatever I want. I think sometimes we go, oh, well, you know, that's just, the way it is I'm going out to dinner on Saturday night and they're serving you know dessert everyone else is having dessert so that's just the way it is I've got to do it if you yeah. don't if you're intentional and you 
are wanting to live a healthier life, then mm. you don't have to accept that dessert on a Saturday night or those wines or, mm. you know, yeah, eating crappy, basically. But, <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's not open slather. But the thing is that if you choose to, if you're intentional about having that dessert, then that's okay as well too. So, yeah, I, I think that's a really important part. So it's reflect on your current self-perception. That's really yes. what we're saying here. Yeah. So, you know, how are you identifying yourself? Um, the next thing is, you know, thinking about, you know, what that desired identity might be because you might still have that mindset that says something different to you so think about what is that i identity and how are you going to go about changing that as well too mm. i think oh, you I need i i was just going to say i think you need to be vocal about it too to a degree you need mm. to let those people around you, friends and family, know that this is who you are. This is yeah. What this is how I live my life now. Yes. You know, I'm exercising, I am eating properly. Um these are my boundaries. Um yeah. And yeah, put it out there. Yeah. And like yeah. we certainly aren't saying that you have to be a hundred percent in this you know you can give yourself those treats if you want to you know use that 80 20 rule or 90 10 rule whatever it is that you choose to do but also think about who you are as a person because if you're a all-in person then chances are that once you break that that boundary or that line that you put in place for yourself then what's going to happen is you're going all in on that chocolate bar. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And you could go all in on two chocolate bars. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, Yeah, for sure. Um, And, you know, then the next part of it is then if you have done that, don't beat yourself up about it. Just acknowledge the fact that you've done it and Mm -hmm. it's okay And do a little bit more work on this self-perception stuff. You know, who am I? Am I this person? Am I I the person who just, you know, eats and and does all the healthy things during the week and then (laughs) lets loose on the weekend? And if that's you, then you're going to be that person who is going through that cycle all the time. You know, and you've probably heard the terminology yo-yo dieting. And that's exactly where that leads to, isn't it? You, you know, it, it, it does. Yeah, mm. yeah. And and if that is who you are, that is who you accept. Yeah. Um, then accept it, as you said. Don't feel guilty about it after yeah. after it's happened. Don't come in on Monday morning and beat yourself up and feel guilty about the way you were on the weekend. If you have done it for five weekends in a row. Mm. make uh you want to make a choice you know if you want to be healthy Mm. um seven days a week then be healthy seven days a week yeah make that choice I think and don't feel guilty about whatever choice it is that you make yeah that's exactly right because it is your life and you get to you get to choose how you live it I mean, I would love a dollar for every time I've had a lady say to me, you know, oh, my husband brought home this treat. I've got one of those. He's always bringing home treats, you know. And so I have to make that intentional decision. Am I going to have it or am I not going to have it, you know, or will I have it for some special occasion that may be coming up? So, and and it is, it's very difficult to navigate it. You know, one of the things that I heard from one of the newer ladies and I was like, I was taken back by it. She said, her kids have said to her that on her uh, gravestone, they're going to put, I'll start Monday. (laughs) Because she said that she has been on a diet since she was eight years old. 
and she diets and she goes off and she diets and she goes off and I've got eight years old like seriously and she said yes eight years old you know um, my mother took me to a dietitian when I was eight years old and um, she she recently just sent me an email this week and she said I just feel like I've totally unloaded everything you know my whole entire life and um, and I said, well, you know, that's where it all starts is, you know, that self-reflection, -re you know, we can't talk about that enough. You know, if you go off track on the weekend, you know, sit down and journal about it because, mm -hmm. and that's okay, because you then what you can find in that journaling is you can look for those patterns. And when you can see those patterns, you can start to address them and go, okay, I'm going to change something about this. Mm -hmm. And I think too, when you're talking about journaling then and writing it down and finding that pattern, what is that connection? So Saturday night I've sat down, I've had a, a chocolate bar. What preceded that? You know, yeah. was there an argument? Did you watch a sad movie? Are you bored? What preceded you eating that chocolate bar? If you can find that connection, you can work on that then. Yeah, the, the emotions are a big thing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I remember one Thursday night um, I was on a break and a couple of the ladies saw me. I was downstairs. I was just standing there and they in, it was in the shopping centre and they've gone, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm, I was just about to go and buy a chocolate bar. And, and I said, I'm trying to work out why I'm buying it. Like I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just standing here trying to go, why am I buying this damn thing? Like, what, what is motivating it? And, you know, so one of the things that I discovered was that um, back in the day, my ex-husband, uh, we only had one car. And so on Thursday nights, we would go out and get the groceries with the boys and everything like that. And we would always buy a little treat to have with the kids. And, um, yeah, and so it was like that that happy place for me. Yeah. And that, that yeah. that's where I was at. And I went, well, I don't really need the chocolate bar to actually have those happy memories, do I? <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> and, and, and no. like, who would think that going grocery shopping with your kids and your husband is a happy going, memory? <laughs> <laughs> happy memory. <laughs> but anyway, it was for me. I know I'm totally weird and that's okay too. <laughs> <laughs> oh funny um yeah. I think I was going to say to um oh you know on the weekends if you have if you are going out for dinner um you know with friends family whatever um you know most places now have their uh, menus online so you can oh, check yeah. out what is on offer yeah. and never be afraid to ask when you get there if you're putting in your order never be afraid to ask you know I don't want the chips on my plate or mm. can I have extra vegetables you know um, those sort of things mm. yeah and I think it always comes back down to when you're trying to change something and this is a big change we're talking about because it's you know it's it's a belief that you have in your head that it's okay to to break loose on the weekend, you know, particularly us Aussies. We we love, you know, we're party girls on the weekend. You know, that's just <laughs> the way it is. Um, and so it's changing how you perceive partying, I think. Yeah. For me, that's yeah. what it was. And, look, I remember that uh, when we ran, won that gr gl Grand Slam that year, Sal, you know, and I was dancing and carrying on and the guys have said to me, <laughs> yes. like, how much how much alcohol have you had, you know, like I was breaking loose. And I said, none, absolutely none, haven't had any. Um, I was just happy because, you know, all grades had actually won that wow. year. So that was yeah. a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, so I think it's always about one small step at a time, you know. Mm -hmm. Firstly, go, okay, am, do I have that that mindset that says it's okay to break loose on the weekend? Or And if you do, then, then question that. Okay, is there, a, is there a way or am I, well, yes, there is a way to change it, but am I willing to change that belief that I have? And if you are, then it comes down to, 
you know, doing that soul searching and that self-reflection and setting yourself um, small achievable goals that you can take just one step at a time. And every time you take another step towards that, you know, celebrate it, give yourself a woohoo, because that's when you're reinforcing that, that positive behavior for yourself. And look, we're always going to come back to this as well to get yourself support. And that doesn't necessarily mean support in your household because nine times out of 10, the support you're going to get from your, from your household is they're going to let you off the hook. Mm. The support will be sabotage. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. So do you have anything you want to add to that, Sal? Just my, my final one is what I started with, be intentional. Yeah. Be intentional. And if you're one of those people like me that, you know, forgets, put sticky notes <laughs> put sticky notes around your house, in your car, everywhere. Be intentional. I actually told one of the ladies to put a sticky note somewhere the other day and she said, my husband's just going to take that down if I put that sticky note back up there. <laughs> just so, keep replacing it. Keep replacing yeah, it. That's right. <laughs> So I think just finishing up, just remember that this is a process and, you know, when we're trying to change something about ourselves, it's it takes time, it takes education um, and just be patient with yourself and just keep staying committed to it. And if you do catch yourself in that cycle, then, you know, the best thing to do is reach out and get some help from someone who can really, you know, walk beside you and and help you and you know take the vegan and the vegetarian thing and start putting yourself give yourself a label of some description <laughs> because I think that's I, I love that 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 concept you know like, I'm like mm. no I don't eat that it's like me saying if someone now offers me alcohol I'm like no I don't drink mm. so I don't get I don't get asked again because it's like oh she's a non-drinker so I've got a little yeah. label attached to me not who I am I'm just a non-drinker doesn't mean I don't like a party I do yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) exactly all right uh Sal thanks for joining me today (laughs) thank you for having me (laughs) I I hope you got something out of that today ladies um we really enjoy bringing these topics that we are getting questions from the ladies in our community so By all means, if you have a question yourself that you want answered, please just reach out to Sal and I and we're happy to answer them for you. See you all, everybody. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.